Hello. This is a Queen Who Cares, Cares For You. And I hope that everybody's having a fantastic day and everything is going you guys' way and you're being treated right and fairly and have yourself in the right environment because that is so very important. Uh, as you know, I have been, um, I'm out of town here. I'm in uh, Alamogora, Mexico. I think I'm saying it right. Alamogora, Mexico. Visiting my grandson and I just want to let you guys know that it has been a very peaceful trip. Um, I mean, a peaceful vacation. I haven't really went that um went anywhere that much. I'm well, I did go on base, which is nice. I'm glad I got a chance to experience that going on base. Uh, I always wanted to go. Well, I have went on a military base before, but I didn't really take a tour. I just went into like you know the area to pick up a friend of mine, like in a in the bunk barracks, and that was about it. But my grandson took me on base um, uh, here in Mexico, and it was a, a very nice um, tour. I didn't see everything, but what I seen, it was nice. It's just like being out here, you know, like how you got your shopping centers, your fast food, and everything. They have every, it's just everything on base military, and their prices are half price, um, tax free. They they have they have very affordable stuff for the military families and stuff so um that was nice to get that experience and everything so but family I tell you I'm gonna I'm not gonna uh talk about this particular person but I tell you before you really um get before you ever decide to visit a person's house I'm just gonna leave you with this make sure you have interacted with the person. I'm going to say it again. Before you ever visit friends or family, um, please make sure you interact with the person before you do the visit to get to know that person, to know what person that you are um, going to be staying with for how long you choose to stay. Because I tell you, it I experienced it, and it was very uncomfortable. I have to say it. I have to put it on blast. It was very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. I am not going to go into details now. I might do a later video um, later. That, but that is a, that particular subject is a time for another day, as the ladies say. That um, subject is for a later day. But uh, like I say, don't just go in blindfolded, no matter how close that person is to you. Uh, if they have um, uh, a, a, a husband, wife, uh, cousin, it, it, no matter who it is, make sure that you know and you have interacted with that person uh, that is going to be living under that roof. Because like I say, I went into something blindfolded and it was a very 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 uncomfortable experience very uncomfortable something that i uh, wasn't never uh never really happened to me but like they say if you live long you'll see enough to create a whole new world and that is very true a whole new world i tell you this experience that i experienced for the two weeks i have never um experienced before in my life never ever i wouldn't I wouldn't uh, a thought of in a thousand years, but you know what? If when things are working out for your good in the spirit realm, things are um, going good for yourself, and things are getting brighter, and and you know you just feel in the spirit that the hey it will be um, evil forces that try to attack you, and like they say, misery love company, trust and believe misery love company. They really do love company. But I am not going to give them the benefit of the doubt to, I'm not going to enjoy in that uh, negative energy. 
I am going to continue to put myself in a beautiful setting, in a positive setting, and um, that's why I'm out here in nature. I just had me a nice salad outside. The day is, I think it's like 56 degrees. It's a it's cool little wind. I should have brought my little jacket or whatever, but um, it's okay because after a while I'm going in to do a little exercise, get my little exercise on, probably spend a couple of hours you know, walking on the treadmill, doing a little of everything, you know, because when I get back to Atlanta, I'm going to get my workout really on like I want to because I am, I want to be in the best shape. I want to begin to be in the best shape of my life. I'm looking around because, you know, <laughs> like I say, y'all always say be safe and watch your surrounding. But over here, it's pretty much a nice neighborhood, nice and quiet. I mean, very boring, very, very boring. It's no excitement like, in this little city whatsoever. Nothing going on. Even the black people over here, they see you. They don't even wave at you, nothing, say hi, nothing. They just look at you like you is a total stranger. <laughs> it, it's the other culture that will say something high up to you before your own uh, black people say anything to you. I've seen a few here and there, and they have not said a word. But it's all good anyway. Um, it's the countdown for me. I will be leaving to go back to Atlanta, Georgia Sunday afternoon. My flight leaves around by 2.15 and I am happy and grateful and so excited to be leaving out of this little place. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy um, coming out here and seeing my grandson and my uh, great grand. I'm glad I got the chance to spend with her. She is such a pretty little precious little thing, but I tell you family it was other things that is made me ready to go back home <laughs> and I tell you and I will um I will uh elaborate on it in another video because just like I say that is another subject for another whole video in itself but um family I am happy no matter what I'm going to keep my spirits up. I'm going to continue to be happy and joyful because that is what I'm all about. I am here to motivate and lift, uplift and encourage. And I love doing it. And no matter what type of bad energy around me, they will not ever pull me out of my character because I'm not stooping down to nobody's uh, bad, rotten energy. And like I tell you guys all the time, always place yourself. It's so very important to place yourself in a good environment. I can't stress enough. Place yourself because these people out here, they are miserable and they want you to be miserable. They are struggling with themselves, fighting against themselves. They are going through so much in life and they are unhappy with themselves. So, family, just know that keep yourself positive even even at this time I didn't have nobody around me encourage me and tell me I mean I share some things with some people on the phone and stuff like that and you know they reached out and make sure I was okay and everything they reached out and make sure I was okay they just wanted to know that you know you know how I'm having the situation and all this kind of stuff but I tell you what I am at first I felt a, a little low but you know what I picked my I put on my affirmations. I went on YouTube. I put on my affirmations. I um put on meditation for negative removing negative energy. I did my chance with my stones and I told I tell you I the universe gave me a big boots, a super boots. And I say I was keeping my grandbaby Monday, Tuesday, and when I didn't really get a chance to come out of nature and do the things I wanted to do. I wanted to make a video, I wanted to exit, but I didn't do that. But um, today I was able to do that because um, I didn't have the baby. Um, uh, the baby is with her mom. Her mom was off today, so I had a chance to come on out. I had had me a bag of salad. I had some blueberries. I had me some water. I had me some uh, chocolate, uh, Oreo cookies for dessert. So I am happy. I am happy. I'm full. I am here. Yeah. Um, out with my you know just feeling good and fresh and you know like I say it's the countdown before you know it I will be back in Atlanta Georgia and I tell you family I can't stress enough keep yourself you know just monitor people energy and stuff because a lot of people out here right you know they just 
and and they can be living a better life than you. They can be living a better life than you, and but they they and you know it's sad that people you know when they see uh, positive people and everything and you know like nothing don't pull them down and 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 you know you happy all the time. It's it's a shame that people is jealous of that. It really is. It really 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 is. You know, so it's a lot of people out here just they just it's not just happy with themselves. They just they just miserable and like I, I can't stress the misery love company but I always say well no matter what it look like tastes like we are co-creators we can create anything we want to we can create any kind of lifestyle we want to and all of us can create our life the way we want to we don't have to wait uh, sit back and wait till some body come fall out the sky some savior and all this kind of stuff because we are uh, gods we are small gods with a small G, and we can create any kind of lifestyle we want. You are in a particular spot and area because you will yourself that you focus on. You focus on that, but you know. So you just ha you can have any kind of lifestyle you want, any kind of lifestyle. And I tell you, my I'm right now. I'm planning my next trip. I'm planning. When I get back home, I'll be planning my next trip to the island of Jamaica. Stay tuned, family, because I will be coming from y'all, coming live from Jamaica, hopefully this year. Hopefully. I'm not going to say, I'm going to say yes, this year I'll be coming live from Jamaica. I'm sure I will. I'm just going to try to pull it off on my birthday. Um, I'm going to, I'm planning on staying a week in Jamaica, maybe two weeks. <laughs> But um, y'all keep in tune. Y'all keep following me. Please, if y'all new to my channel, please like and subscribe. Now, let me, let's, let's, what, what, what's all the things that you're supposed to do? Okay, you're supposed to subscribe. You're supposed to like. You're supposed to comment. You're supposed to share. And you're supposed to thumbs up. Please do all five of them. Please, please, please. All right. And like I said, if you're new to my stand, just stand. Like I said, I don't have no DDDs and BBDs and degrees behind my name, but I do have a life, life experience. I really do. I have life experience, and I have went through a lot of things in my life, and I am willing to share and hope that this will help someone else so that to keep them from going through the same things I went through, or you can learn. You just stay to my channel because you will learn and grow. Learn and grow. Learn, learn and grow. And that's what it's all about. And each one, teach one. Whatever you learned, please teach it to someone else because that's what life is all about. We are here. We are all connected. And we are all connected to do the things that the universe has created to do at such a time as this to be a high version of yourself. So, family, I'm just, um, but in all, I'm glad I got a chance to come out here. Like I said, spend time with my grandbaby. She's such a beautiful doll. Spend time with my grandbaby and just have fun in life. Just have a good time in life, you know. I'm glad I'm, I was able to do that, you know. And um, and my grandson, I'm proud of him. He chose a great career for himself. He's planning to do his 20 years and get out. And he's working on his own businesses and stuff like that. But, um, you know... He just got married in December of last year, and um, so you know he's, you know, it's you know how it is when a, when you get married, uh, you never been married, you never been married, and uh, it's your first time, and um, uh, you marry very young, and so by saying all that, you in itself, you know, it's a struggle. <laughs> it's a struggle. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. And he is having those challenges right now, but hopefully that he will work himself through it. If you really, if uh, both of them just pull together and work together, it can work out. Because it's a lot, it's, it is a lot of um, stirs where people have been married, for, you know, they got married when they was real young. Even younger than that, I don't heard 14 and 15 and all this kind of stuff. And they are, they lived it a life time together with each other from and be, you know you meet people been married for 40 and 50 years you learn so much from them people i haven't been married well when you sum it all up i'm probably i have been married three times and i haven't been married three times and probably all through the years i probably did i'm gonna say let's say let's mm, 14 no probably like 20 something years of marriage or maybe 30 30 some years of marriages and stuff like that so family you know 
just stay focused on what your dreams and goals are continue to keep your six feet distance wear your mask and just watch your um surrounding at all times and just stay safe out there stay safe i can't express nothing stay safe because there's so much going on every time i look at my phone all kinds of stuff popping up where well, somebody got high speed chase shooting killing murder all kind of stuff going on so just be careful where you're going and watch your surroundings and just um just live life to the fullest live it you know don't worry about trying to get all this um material possession and all that you know it's all right having all that stuff but don't let it have you and just create memories and stuff for your family and just enjoy life it's all about who's gonna have the most fun you know just create memories memories because everything else can get be took away but what you got in your mind and the memories and everything and the, the times you share with your family nobody can take that away from you nobody can take it away from you trust me and believe that it is there for until you make your transition to the next life it, those memories will be there in your mind so that's what's important we have to spend time with our loved ones and sometimes our loved ones is unlovable <laughs> i tell you i tell you true but you ain't got to be you ain't got to live with them you just treat them with a long spoon and you know reach out to them from time to time tell them how much you love them and you know if anything that's in your means to do it please do it try to do it for it do it for them but um like i said if anybody need my advice uh you know you need me to uh count for consultation or whatever you can email with me at a queen who cares uh at gmail.com a queen who cares at gmail.com and i said i was gonna have my phone number ready too if you need to call me but next time i do another video hopefully i will have all that information for you and i will give you uh my phone number where you can reach out to me or you or you can text me or you can email me but it's a queen who cares at gmail.com and like i say i'm getting ready to do my website um for consultation because you know what i have people calling me wanting all kind of stuff done they always call me to do this do that email this do this right here look for place look for apartment look for houses they just want me to do all this so you know what this is going to be a part of <laughs> um this is um services i'm offering it's not gonna be like a whole lot of money and all this kind of stuff but it will be uh some fees involved it's it's gonna be very affordable trust me and believe it's gonna be very fun and for i i'm not i'm gonna tell you now before i um waste my time doing all this stuff you have to go to my website cash app or zella <laughs> i will be taken and we will move forward from there because i do too many things and i have to my time is very valuable and i should be paid for my my time um hey i'm reaching retirement age and i am tr and this is uh services i'm going to create for myself whatever you might need it's an all-purpose services <laughs> you might need an errand then you might need uh some organization then you might i'm gonna I'm have a list of stuff that that of stuff that <laughs> I will have a list of stuff up there that um what the services that I offer. But I'm just telling you guys, you know, because I think that it's time for me to move forward in this uh arena. But anyway, I am getting ready to sign off. I thank you all for watching my video and I love you all and y'all like i said if anybody new to my channel, please like and do everything but y'all to please subscribe to my channel um i appreciate it so much and i just hope that my videos um help each and every one of you guys and i hope that um everybody just uh do live their best life and you are living life the way you have created it and you want to live it not on no one terms but your own terms so with that being said, I'm getting ready to sign off. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace, love, and happiness.